Hey guys and girls, DarkBenji151. Today we are going to open up some Top Chrome MetaZoo, which are hottest new little thing. I bought two boxes, but we're going to open one. And hopefully I have the willpower to not open the other one anytime soon. Um, but as collectors, we all know how that goes. Alright. I opened some... So there's a lot of information here. There... I as far as I know, a couple different versions. Target has their own box, and uh, you know, and then there's like, yeah, see how it shifted up, and then like hobby boxes. This is gonna be the most tall bizarre, <laughs> but I'm doing it. Um, it's not so bad. Yeah, that's a good one. So. There we go. Um, Target has their own, and I ripped two of those boxes already, so I've pulled some cards. They have cards called X Fractors, and I even pulled a serial numbered card, um, Pukwaji, whatever, I don't know if that's how you say it. Um, well, let's open some packs. Let me make some room for myself. Um, So, let's see what we got. I'm going to sleeve these probably pretty quickly. Actually, I'll probably just drop them off here. The cool thing about, um, oh God, there I am in the background. The cool thing about the Target ones is some packs come with an extra card, which is the x Factor card that's a Target exclusive. And Flatwood Monster, and let's see, like, what they look like on the back. They look very cool, like in your hand. Feel very good, very cool. Let's look at it. These are, I don't want them to like scratch, so I'm handling them gently. They do have some edging I've noticed and some serious centering issues. And it says refractor down there. So that's a refractor and it's white, so you can kind of tell. There are many different levels of stuff in here. You can read them all, but basically out of 99, out of uh, 50, out of 25, out of five, and out of one. So of course, if you can pull the, the mega, ooh, Mothman. There's a nice one. It's a regular card, but it's a Mothman. I haven't pulled one of those out of the, the target blasters. So that's nice. All right, let's see what we got. Black Cat. I do not want to see myself in the background of these cards. Kushtaka. It's quite a common card I've seen. Alien Astronaut. And Mothman. Very cool. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, Sleepyola on that one. See, it's already, I, oh no, that's, that's a dust. That's a dust. Very cool. Thick card, as you can tell there. Not numbered, if it were numbered, it'd be in the bottom left. Very nice, though. So out of eight packs that I opened out of two Target blaster boxes, not hobby boxes, but blasters, I got uh, one serial numbered card out of 99, and one card that's, uh, I think it's called a capture card or I don't know I forget um but it's like a hit man these are nice they just look so nice Ooh, refractor of Salem's witches that is so cool and a Bigfoot very nice but you can see that edging would be absolutely decimated at a grading service or should be at least so grade wisely my friends Salem's witches so cool some speak to me, some don't. So, you know, I hope I hope we can all get the, you know, whatever speaks to us. I think the hit would be on the back. That's why people open them like this. So let me be all fancy and do that. We have Gumbaroo. No. Oh, all right, a sideways. I think these are called lore cards. Like they say the story or something. Young Power, cool. What's that say on the wall? 
Mothman was here. <laughs> Very nice. Snallygaster Refractor. Very nice. And Chippy Mothman. Cool. Pulling them, pulling them off men. Does this happen to you guys every time you open up sleeves? They're upside down. Like, I put, I pulled the whole stack. Now, I've rotated the whole stack, and they're probably still going to be upside down. All right. All right. I will put the refractor in here just because. Why not? All right. Randomly picking from. Now. I know it'd be a super long shot, but some of the really, really, really hard to find serial numbered ones have been pulled, like the one of ones and stuff, but also some haven't been found and they sell for a lot of money. So Gumbaru, Enfield Monster, and Lake Worth Monster. Be nice to pull a serial numbered card lower than 99 because I pulled a 91, 99 one so but the odds are very tough like the odds according to the pack if I'm reading them correctly a serial numbered card comes in like every second or third box like even but a green card comes one every 50 something a orange one comes at one every whatever so like I don't know if you add all those up it's better that's a cool one cactus cat <laughs> I like that Moon eyed people, very nice refractor. And Loveland Frogman, very cool. Token character right there. Gotta sleeve it up. Gotta get that background going. Very nice. So the exclusive ones to this, to like the hobby boxes, are the orange level, which I think are one in 25. So you can't pull those in the target boxes. So I guess they like to incentivize each, you know, Pete's Aoki. Well, evidently pulling a Steve Aoki card is kind of a, a nice thing. I don't know the man. Don't know much about him. Cool. Chapter two cover. I pulled the chapter one cover. I'll show you guys soon. The refractor is a Chessie. Not numbered. Sometimes the refractor's on the back. I don't know why. I like Chessie. I want to pull a, a babe card because one of my favorite, if not the favorite. Oh, that's cool. I think I pulled the alt. I think I, yeah, I think I already showed you because I had it sleeved. See that? Ghost Train. And this is by Poncho. Let's see if this is the same artiste. Whoops. Poncho. Yeah. Very nice. I'll put that up there to sleeve it. I like me a, a Ghost Train. I don't know why. I think that's a popular card, though. People like it. Bunny Man Refractor and the Char Man with an, an, another art. I wouldn't call it, an, I don't know if it's an alternate art, but that just looks so cool with all the red. Are all the cards red on the back? Yeah. So that one looks cool because the character is red and it's red. So I like that. The Char Man. Begs, begs, begs you to say Charmander, obviously. All right, this one's extra bent, bent, bowed, and bendy, so maybe that's good. All right. We got Joint Snake. I feel like I should be pulling these off like this, so I don't scratch. Snow Snake. Yes! Babe the Blue Ox. <laughs> A refractor of Babe the Blue Ox, which I have not seen. I've seen the one of one because uh, Nick's Strength and Pokemon, so um, Strength and Pokemon pulled it. But that is nice. New favorite card. Beautiful. Put that in front of the, the witch. 
Very nice. There we go. All right, Minnesota Iceman. Blood Ruby, haven't seen that one. Oh, cool, another lower card there, Quantum Power. Very nice. And the refractor is Metal Man of Alabama. Very cool, it doesn't do much for me, but. If it'll get a dollar on eBay, might do something for me. Kind of my goal is to sell these to get, <laughs> the goal is to sell a bunch just so you can enjoy the few sort of thing. All right, another Mothman. Very cool. Another Mothman art. by chibi for the moment oh and a death beam that's that's like a um not a good card in the one of the sets ingrid cold refractor and space penguins you always got to check the back on the last one but i'm sure it'd have a different color very cool space penguin Kentucky Hellhound, very cool card. I'm actually gonna sleeve that boy up. I like that one. I guess the cards that I like from the original sets, they have been released so far, are the ones that I'm more likely to appreciate this time. I guess that's how it goes. Snow Wasset, the refractor is Lake Worth Monster and Adam Ackler. See, that, would get, that should get butchered. I mean, now what is it? Yeah, it's just a rough cut. It's just a rough cut. Now, with some series of cards, like especially from my time in Pokemon, if, if the whole series was known to have a particularly rough set of characteristics like that cut, then they may um, they forgive it a little bit, but I'm not sure. Lava Bear, Agro Pelter, Hug and Molly, very nice, and Fresno Nightcrawlers. We're still looking for that serial hit, serial numbered hit from, so you can like say, yeah, I got Mothman, yeah, I got a blue, a chrome, you know, babe, but still, those serial number cards are hard to find, I'm telling you. Old Green Eyes, hmm. All right, we got Hug and Molly, which is a pretty cool card. That bird. <laughs> White thing and old green eyes. Very nice. A scavenger of battlegrounds. This beastie has been spotted following armies as they march to war. Cool to look these things up on Google and like see what they are. The myths. And, and you know, maybe why MetaZoo chose them. Sam Sinclair, very nice. Walking Sam. White thing. Alternate art there and Cactus Cat, very nice. Wouldn't wanna, <laughs> wouldn't wanna happened upon that guy. Very cool background. Scare all the kids with that mirror background that reflects back at me. Still looking for that serial card. Although we did pull a couple Mothman already, so that's good. And I got a refractor that I really like. You know we always want more. You know. Shadow People. Enfield Monster. And Chibi Mothman. Very nice. Is that the second art? A 
Okay, four Mothman cards out of one box. It's not so bad. I don't know if I've seen that. That's nice. Got the OG, got the second one or something like that. Got the chibis. All right, how many packs do we have left? We got four. This one feels good, I'm gonna leave it till last. So I would say we did pretty well, but you know we wanna hit. All right, Chibi, Quetzal, hide behind. And stick around after I'm done because I want to show you the ones that I pulled from the, um, oh, that's a cool card. From the, from the Target Blaster Box, and I'll show you those X-Fractors. I think they're called X-Fractors. Uh, here we go, there are the packs. <laughs> Quetzalcoatlus. Battle, battle, that's a nice card. That's like a Metal Man versus Charman. That is, that's like a standout card. Those are nice. You can put this up there. Slide Rock Bolter and Snow Wasset. Sometimes you, like, I've seen people checking these to make sure they're not like insert cards because they're just so vibrant that it's just like, wow, bam, you know. All right, we got Wapalusi. <gasps> That's good, isn't it? I think gold is pretty good. And Killer Clown. Yo, it's out of 50. That's pretty good. Space Penguins, I will take it. God, that card is really thick. It's like... <laughs> it's... <per> <laughs> Let me try to get this in some here. It's forever sleeve until it goes into a PSA or Beckett sleeve. Yo, that, that's the hit. And it's not guaranteed a hit. I'm telling you. Pepper DeLuca is the artist. Very nice. 18 out of 50. I'm telling you, these feel good. All right, last pack. Stick around for those um, X Fractors. It's where the hit came in the middle because I've seen some hits come from like the back. I don't know. Funeral Mountain Terror Shot. Oh, are you kidding? That's the, the cryptid camera. There it is. That's what I was trying to think of before. Of Ghost Train. That is nice. Let's look at that in just a second. Slide Rock Bolter and River Dinos. Very cool. So I did get two, two hits technically. Because this is like an insert. Ghost Train. I don't think they're numbered. No. But it is noted up there. 22F is the card number. That is sick. That is sick. All right. Beautiful. I would feel like that. I feel like that's a pretty successful box. So look, Ghost Train. Ghost Train. I think you know where this is going. Pretty sick. All right. So this is the nine, one out of 99 that I got. So green, you see there. Pretty cool. And then I'll go through these quickly. 
So target, I will say target packs are very weighable because if they have a, an X fractor in there, they are, um, they contain an extra card. So don't buy <laughs> target packs unless they're in a box. So that's the X fractor and you can see that has that X pattern that crosses over. Joint snake, they're not numbered or anything, but um, you can tell they're exclusive to that product, which is target. Sorry, I can't get a grip on these, so like, all right. I swear I do this all the time. They're just very thick. <laughs> like, Funeral Mountain Terror Shot, white thing. That's pretty cool to be a Topps Chrome, first of all, and a refractor card, and exclusive to one product. So I'm sure I got the refractor that, that you just saw, because I remember that. But now I have the X Fractor as well. I think they're called X Fractors. If I'm saying that wrong, I will. See, that's pretty cool. I thought that would be numbered, just look different, but it's not. Night Escape, Frozen Pipel, Matlocks, Kushtaka, Flatwoods. Ah, see, these cards are bendy too, so they're like, they're like naturally bowed, so they they wiggle around a lot when you start to stack them. Snally, Sinkle, Bat Squatch, very cool. Terror Bird. Quetzalcoatlus, very nice. Now that's a cool one that I really liked getting. I believe I got chapter two as well hiding somewhere, so that's pretty cool. And if you don't know, I think I know, that's like the, yeah, chapter one cover, so of, of the, comic book so oh yeah and i did pull this beast of busco no deck. so that's it what do you think i mean obviously this is the best pull i got so that's pretty cool i'm um, very happy about this one i'm gonna go show all my friends all right y'all thanks for checking in it's dark Benji 151 check in and out